Hey everyone, how you doing today? As promised in the daily financial news, we got two experts today. And the first one, we got Matt, the ninth grade dropout. How you doing, buddy? Doing great, Mike. Thanks so much for having me. Always oh. appreciate we uh, talk about that. Never thought it would be something to be proud of. <laughs> well, you, it, it is definitely a part of your story, but as always, this is not sure. something we recommend for everyone, right? <laughs> no, that would be horrible. Don't <laughs> yeah. do that. Yeah, that was horrible. It took a lot of years to figure out which end was up. So yeah, yeah don't, yeah, do not do that. Yeah, yeah do don't not, do that. Yeah. yeah, do not do that. But something's kind of transitioning out of that just lovely story is something we're both passionate about. And that is the property ladder. Sure. And more yeah. importantly, the importance of getting on the property ladder as a means of financial security and, and ultimately wealth creation, if you stay on the property ladder long enough. So why don't you talk about what it is and, and why it's important to you? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the whole reason for the, you know, Lumberjack Landlord series and the time that I spend with you on Tuesdays, which I always look forward to is to help people understand the real value of these life lessons. Mm -hmm. You know, don't spend your money on things that depreciate in value, you know, cars and parties and fun times, there's a time for that. But make that a treat, make that something that's outside and above what you do. I mean, if you know, the average age for a home buyer in the US is 32 years old. Mm. That's horrible. Yeah. Like that's where people need to be focusing because if I can help you and in, in the advice and, and not advice, but the conversations that we're having, mm -hmm. if that can support people and give them ideas about the different approaches that they can take and strategies that have been used to get on the home, on the, get on the home property ladder. I mean, that's what we want to see people do because we realize that's by far the most tried and true way for financial freedom. And mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about. You know, how many, how often is it, you always talk about, Hey, four properties can get you there. I yeah. completely agree. Even one completely changes your life outlook. But if you're going to do one, if you like it at all, yeah, you'll probably do four. And then if you still like it, you'll probably do 10. Yeah. And now you're talking about generational wealth being created for people that never had that opportunity before because they're not Mark Zuckerberg. They're not Sergey. They're not, you know, Bill Gates. They're not Steve Jobs. Hey, all of us aren't. Yeah. Are th those are those are lifetimers, right? Or, or Elon Musk is the is the is the flavor of the day, right? Right. Yeah. There's we're not those people, and so we have to just pick the opportunities that we have. And the most most important thing for us is what's the likelihood of success. Well, we know what the likelihood of that success is. It's far higher in real estate than it is anywhere else trying to create a widget. Yeah, I think if you think about the property ladder, I mean, one of the things that would be a great goal for us is we if we get the average age from 32 to 25 or 26 over yeah. the next couple of decades yeah. together. Yeah, absolutely. But, let, but let's just, just think about why that's so important, right? Yeah. You want to bitch and moan about the rich getting richer. Well, why is that? Right. It's because they own assets. Yeah. Right. They take the right. time to save and they own assets. Now, some of them were given assets because their past generations had the sure. assets. So what? Sure. They exactly. got on the property ladder and they stayed on the ladder. Yeah. So, I mean, let's face it. You yeah. and I want to do both do that for our kids. Absolutely. Yeah. I've already got we penciled want... out which one she's getting. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch out. It better not be the really like nice schedule A stuff. She might want to bump you off, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So again, getting on the ladder is so important. It is a great goal. And then when you step yeah. back and you think about the U.S. versus other countries, right? The U.S. Right. offers you ways to get on the property ladder, sometimes for zero down, right? If you yeah. have served in the military, for example. That's right. Which, by the way, I love that oh, program. Yeah. Oh, I would sure. never want anything to change with that program. Having been a seller on that side, though, selling to somebody VA, their inspections are brutal. <clears throat> They're yeah. tough. You know, yeah. they are beyond ridiculous. They're like, well, we saw something here and we think that might be a problem. I was like, the house is 140 years old. I promise I can find you more problems than a, than mm -hmm. a, a piece of cracked plaster. Yeah. Like guaranteed. Exactly. You know, but those types of programs like you're talking about are people got to take advantage of those. Like they're there. You've served our country. We want to pay it forward and pay it back oh. for the sacrifice that you made. I love that program. Oh, without know? a doubt. Love that program. Parents, uh, both parents serve. So yeah, definitely love that program. Yep. But even serve, if you didn't serve, yep. if you didn't serve, you can get into right. homes for three and a half percent down. I know. Right. And to think that it's, you can't yeah. save three and a half percent for, I don't know, what's the average home in America? 250. So what's that? Yeah. 10 I mean, grand. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yeah. You need to be doing some really horrible self-talk if you haven't put yourself in a position, right. Yeah. To put, to, to read and research and do the work you know, and look at the math 
Mm-hmm. You got to be doing that. You got to take action. You know, the only thing that's going to change about your future is if you take action. Yeah. And having the data there, I mean, I didn't have this data. Mike didn't have this data. We had to go, we took the time to figure it out and show our paths so you guys could experience that. Mm-hmm. So it makes it even easier, but you still got to do the work. There's no shortage. You know, I, I had somebody send me an email and said, Hey, I really want to do what you do. And I said, Awesome, start this way. Yeah. Um, could you give me any information? I just did start that yeah. way. I had to do it all myself. I didn't even have somebody saying, Hey, start this way. Right. Yeah. yeah. I can show you the path, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to walk yeah. it for you. I'm already up there. No. You, it's your choice to come. Yeah. I already did it. I'm not walking down the mountain to put you on my shoulders and carry you up. I'm yeah. tired. Yeah. I'm tired, <laughs> man. I'm tired. Well, the other thing to appreciate about this is a lot of Americans don't realize what happens in other countries. There are countries right. where you can't get a loan for real estate. That's a lot right. of South America countries, right. you have to pay cash and, and people save up for lifetimes to get something. That's right. In Europe, there's a lot of countries that do 20% down. And right. you know, there's just so many differences that we don't appreciate here. Uh, one thing I do hope we can do by just continually talking about the property ladder is, is lower that age. Because if we, yeah. I mean, personally, I mean, I did it. I mean, I sound like a hypocrite. I bought the stupid car. I bought the stupid stuff. When I could, I could have owned a home instead of at 29, probably 25 or 24, if I had my sure. priorities straight. My priorities were wrong. I wanted to blow it and have fun. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I was 20, 21 or 22. <clears throat> that's when I bought my first. And Look at you. Yeah. that's, yeah. I mean, hey, honestly, like that's why I'm 43 and I own 24 of them or whatever I own now, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and that's the same. I want that for everybody. And you can have it. You got to do the work. You know, you, there's plans out there that, you know, Mike's book is fantastic. And the, the knowledge that we share, just, you know, kind of talking shop on a yeah. weekly basis for an hour. Like, this is all the stuff like we've, I mean, I, I don't know that I've lived through it all, Mike, as far as property goes, but I've lived through a lot of it. Yeah. You know, that away crash taught a lot of lessons <laughs> and then the recovery and yeah. right. And then, and then what we're in now, like learning that, that you can never make up for that longevity. And so if people can stand on our shoulders. Oh, for sure. We're open book. Do it. Yeah. That's what we're here for. You know, we're here to help. Well, let's just add one more wrinkle. And this should be another thing that you're passionate about. It really should help us lower the age. And that is house hacking. Yes. Uh, think about three and a half percent down. And oh, by the way, you can rent to three buddies or three yeah. girlfriends or, or whatever it is. Absolutely. Dude, you, you, Absolutely. you could be in a master bedroom or shoot if you, you want in a, a smaller bedroom and pay zero or maybe 200 bucks. To live in a house and, and be on the property ladder and get the inflation and get the appreciation and get the tax safe. I mean, it's just, oh, I wish more people would pay attention. The unbelievable opportunity generationally that's there for us now with the loan products that we have, with the jobs that people get right out of college. You know, I've got kids graduating college, not my own, but ones that I rent to. And their first offer letters are 80, 90, $100,000 a year. You know, they have those jobs waiting for them when they graduate in May. Guys, honest to goodness, like do the right thing. Like on, stay in my property one more year at 600 bucks, 700 bucks a head. Save up your down payment. Then you got your college loans. I mean, I want to see people 23, 24 years old buying their first home, house hacking and putting themselves on a property ladder that even if they don't love being a landlord, they're going to be able to afford that a house on their own money in a, in a year or two. Yeah. Like do it for a little bit of time. If you love it, great. Do it more. If you don't, that's fine too. And you know what? Be cheap like Mike and I would be, and mm-hmm. we'd live in the smallest bedroom. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I mean, it's only a couple of years of life. Like who cares? Yeah. yeah. You know, so, you're so never there anyway. Invest. If you're living right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If you're living right and you're working hard, you're real. you just need a place to sleep. Yeah, that's right. A bed and a light switch. That's what, I, that's what people tell me when I was in the sales, right? What kind of hotel do you like? I don't know. I like a bed and a light switch. That's yeah, exactly. all that matters to me. Yeah. Yeah. Ones that preferably are just over two stars. So I don't have company in the room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't like sharing rooms. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. outside of, yeah, don't hack your hotel room. Yeah. Do hack your first home purchase, yeah, you know, but yeah. yeah, it's just that again, I just implore people, you know, this, this information is absolutely invaluable, but you have to take action. You have to do the work. And we have, you know, teasing our third segment, the opportunity that we have in America versus so many of these other countries, like Mike was just talking about, honestly, there is just no reason you, you gotta, you gotta do something. Gotta yeah. do something. In the end folks, uh, 
get on the property ladder. Uh, yeah. It not only is a way to build real wealth, it's a forced savings account. If that makes you feel more comfortable, right? Paying down the mortgage, having that inflation be your friend to tease the second segment. Uh, you know, you can set it up if you're young, three and a half percent down. You could do zero if you were in the military. House hack. There are so many things you could do to improve your financial future other than buy a stupid sports car like I did. Yeah. I mean, hey, I bought I bought them too, but you know, with we also put money aside as well, you know. Yeah. So I mean that and that was that was the key, you know. We would treat ourselves on some things, but you know, one of the things that I never did was I never went out partying or hanging out with my friends. It was all, that was always done at home. Mm -hmm. So I was willing to give up the going out lifestyle to basically afford the down payment for my home. And just doing that a year, mm -hmm. I was able to buy it, you know? Very so, cool. Yeah. Well, folks, we both believe in the property ladder. We want to see that average age from 32 down to 25 or 26. We're going to keep doing this for the next couple of decades and see what happens. Absolutely. I mean, long-term commitment, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to close you. <laughs> yeah, done. Done. I'm, I'm an easy close. I'm a sales guy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, buddy. Thanks again.